children welcome back so in this today's video we are going to discuss about a, a new topic of matter okay then what is this matter first we will try to learn about the matters then what is this matter already you have learned in your fourth standard or third standard and you know that what is the matter matter is that uh, anything that may be any living thing non living thing whatever it may be solid liquid whatever it may be that is anything which must occupy the space means it needs some space to occupy itself then it should have the weight the weight should be there for that if there is weightless if it is zero weight that is not called as a matter then for example we can see many living things non living things these all will come under the matters for example i have a chalk piece okay this has some weight okay this has some weight and it needs some place to occupy here on my palm or on my hand here i have a box this is a box this has some weight and even it needs some place if i keep on the land or in on any uh, other uh, place then if any subjects any substances which has these two properties that is um which occupies the space and which has the mass or weight those all are called as the matter those matter may be a living things or non living things for example um uh um, matter any solid is also matter gaseous is also matter and liquid is also a matter then other than that we will uh, next we will uh, come to know that examples we have two types here then this matter can be in a two forms that is one is in a living matter and in non living matter um in the living matter we have like uh, Uh, see here, uh, we the human beings and the other animals, insects and the plants. These all will come under the living matter. You can see here, living matters are humans, animals, insects and the plants. For example, what is the property for the matter when we call uh, define the matter? if any uh, any substance is there that may be living or non living it must has it must occupy some place see for example i will take my example only and your example only see if i am standing here i have some shape or some particular height of body and even that body has some weight then i i need some place to stand here isn't it then my body need some space to stand and it has some particular weight even your body is also like that and other than all the humans we all will come under the living matter because we all have body and we need some place to stand sit or sleep and we have some weight also and other than this animals we can see other than human beings all animals are there they have the body they need some place and they are going to weigh some weight other than this insects they may be very small but they are also having some space to occupy themselves and then they have small weight also other than this and the plants plants need some place to occupy and they to have the weight then these all will come under the living matter matters which are can be the differentiated under the living things then next is non matter non ma sorry a uh, non living matters non living matters means soil if i bring a one uh, uh, like this one uh, big uh, bucket of soil it need a place and it has weight also then soil is also considered as the matter but soil is considered in the non living matter then water water does not have any life even the water also can be considered as the matter because it it needs some place and it uh, has some weight also then the rock big big rock small rocks will be there big or small rock they need some place to occupy themselves and even they need they have the some weight after this the air 
the air we may not see the air but which it has occupied see for example if you are sitting in a particular room there is a air which has occupied almost the entire room entire house even i am here in this uh, room the air is there throughout the room it has occupied the whole room and which even it has if i weigh the air even it has some weight also then air is also considered as a matter okay now we got a clear picture about the non living matters and the living matters living matters are humans animals insects and the plants and non living matters are soil water rock and the air then what is the matter matter is anything which has the property of occupying any place some place and which has some weight also these all are called as the matters okay then non matters non matters means what the exactly opposite of the matter which does not occupy any place and which has no weight which does not occupy any place and which has no weight that is weightless those all are considered as the non matters okay then what are those non matters has no mass and does not occupy any space are considered as the non matters then for example what are those non matters heat sound light electric signal or electric current see now the electric current bulb is on okay electric current has spread throughout the room but it does not occupy any special uh, 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 place uh, or in space in this room and which has no weight i cannot weigh the light which is coming from the bulb or which is coming from the fire which is coming from the sunlight i cannot measure weigh the the light of the sun or light of the bulb or even i cannot measure the heat weight will not come from the heat then these all are called as non matters which has no mass and does not occupy any space for example heat sound light and the electric current children i hope you have understood whatever we have discussed in this video okay so in the next video we will learn about the next uh, topics so before ending this topic i would like to give you some homework then what is your homework first question is what is matter first question is what is matter okay give examples write examples also then what are living matters give an example third question what are non living matters and give example okay solve these questions in the next video we are going to discuss about the solid liquid and the gases and different examples and how they are made up of this all we are going to discuss i hope you will do this homework and enjoy this video okay let us meet uh, in the next video till then take care bye bye